This last video on the axle support has to do with putting the fillets on the axle support. If you take a look at the part in the handout, you'll notice that there are fillets on all of the edges that are cast edges. And that little, those, the dotted um, shading is actually designed to show you that that's a cast iron part. So where there are straight edges, if you look down in the lower left hand corner at the back side, straight edges show up wherever there's been a machined surface. There's a machine surface at the end of that boss, so that top edge is not going to be filleted. There's machine surfaces where the hole goes through and where the spot face is, so those are going to be sharp edges. And although you can't see the top part in any of these views, the top of this had to have been machined as well because it has to fit up in here and you wouldn't put cast iron up against the surface that's been machined. So that edge right there is going to be a sharp edge. All the other edges are going to have a radius of 3. It's in the lower right hand corner. It shows you that rounds and fillets have a radius of three. So <clears throat> what we need to do is to put these fillets in. Now fillets are complicated, especially where they merge together, and especially where they merge together at different angles, which is what we have going on right here. So you've got to experiment a little bit sometimes with the order in which you place those fillets. If we start on this side, roll that up and take a look at it underneath. I could go in and say I want to do a fillet, and we could start this edge right here, three. Say so go ahead and put it in place. We're getting an error message. Now we're getting an error message because it sees something is too complex to place a fillet on. When you get something like that, get rid of that edge and try something else. So let's try this edge. That edge comes all the way around and that looks pretty good. I try to add this to it, however, it goes away, which tells me I'm going to get another error message. And the error message is, it's too complex. Try to fill it one face or edge at a time. All right, I'm going to go back and get rid of that third edge again, or edge three. So now we can accept this one. Now once we've accepted that, we can go in and say, let's try to fill it that. That looks like it might work. Then we can go in and say, now let's try to fill it that. See if it'll go all the way around. That does seem like it worked as well. Came around to this side. So that's one potential approach to doing this. So you can go ahead and try this. And then check and see if you get the same mass properties that I do. If not, you can go back and make an, a modification in how that filleting is done. Because the other thing we could have done here is started a little differently. I could have started by putting a fillet here, accepting that, and putting another fillet around this edge. See, so it goes all the way around, nice and continuous. Accepted that, and then added another fillet by picking that little edge right here this little edge right there. They both look pretty good, but they're going to give you slightly different results. So let's do it that way and see what happens. That's this side. We come around to the other side, and on the other side you know there's a machine surface here, so that top edge has to be kept all the way around, by the way, it has to be kept a sharp edge. These edges, though, are rounded. That top edge is not. So as you place your fillet, you might think, gee, I'll start by putting that in. And that looks like it wouldn't be too bad an idea. Except that. Looks good. Come back over here now and grab this edge. Now that goes all the way around, and the problem is that is not what the part looks like. That edge is not filleted. If you take a look at the original sketch, it can't be filleted all the way around like that because that edge was machined. It was a machined edge, and it's going to be sharp. So let's get rid of that by backing away. So what else could we do? Well, we started first with the raised boss. That didn't work out. Let's try it the other way. If we try filleting here, that looks pretty good. Come to the other side and fill it that, and it's always a good idea to grab those sides that are symmetrical at the same time so that you're going to get the same kind of fillet. That's going to accept it. And by the way, if you can see a preview, it pretty much means it's going to accept it. Now, what's going to happen if we try to put a fillet on this inside? Is it going to give us more than we want? Grab it, comes around, just runs out right into the other fillet, leaves a sharp edge on the top all the way around, Looks like this. We go up here to the tools, mass properties, and now the sheet that you've got, the handout, indicates the mass properties of the axle support should be 60.49. See how we did? 60.49, right in the money. Now the center of mass might vary depending on how this part was made. Um, in the handout, the center of mass, in fact, is different than this, and it's different than this because the location of the origin at the time that other part was created, I probably used the center of that hole because that would have been another possible location for the origin as well. That, though, is going to put everything right where you want it. Everything's going to fit together nice and neat. See if you can come up with a 60.49 grams as the mass, and you should be all set.